welcome to the in-depth before you buy for sith trooper ray and finn i did do a first look already with all of the new items in game sound test the glider the emotes etc so with that being said let's get sweaty back blinks on ray hopefully with all three of these outfits for these combinations that i've chose i hope it's only like a 12 minute video roughly it might be a little longer than that hopefully at the most 15 minutes um, I thought about splitting them up into three videos, um, and then I just kind of thought, might as well just put them all together, because I put all of them together for my first look, so let's just put them all together for the in-depth portion as well. Color schemes for her, um, pretty neutral colors here. I think Rift Rock is really cool. Makes a lot of sense to me. Um, a lot of tans, browns, uh, not, there's not a whole lot of color that I pushed on her to wear. But I think she's almost, uh, in the in in a sense, she's kind of like a blank canvas. She's kind of wear what you want, but I really like hatchback on her. It looks really good. This is the Jedi Order back bling on a handful of outfits here. It's actually, um, it's very universal. Um, it's, it's like a yellowish gold. It does have a nice little flicker there every few seconds. Um, it looks really good on Elite Agent. Doggo with his new edit style. Uh, the festive one. This is the original. It's it just looks really good. This back bling is very um, very unique. I'm really liking kind of like a holographic type of back bling within the game. I love Illusion Rune. I said that in my first look video. I think it just has a lot of potential here. Um, a lot of flexibility. It's not protruding in any in any weird ways. There's no loss of visibility when you're ADSing. It's just it's very simple. It's just enough to kind of spice up your combo, depending on what you're actually using. But I like it. This yellow looks really nice. We'll just call it like a gold. Um, it looks it looked really good on Ara. It's probably one of my favorites. She's a really clean skin. Very well done. This back bling is it's just it's just a little bit. It's like the little sprinkles on the cake. You know, it's not the icing on the cake, but it's the sprinkles on the cake. It just gives it a little bit more. And it means like all the difference. It looks really good on Limelight too, original style. Brute Gunner looks juicy. Bolt does not look bad at all. Hard Charger. Scout. Yes. Snake Pit looks nice. And Whiplash. My favorite, um, Aura looks really good. That looks really, really good to me. Um, also, I liked Doggo with his festive style. An elite agent looked really good too. Let's show her with the other style as well without the helmet. Solid combo right there. Now we have back blings on Finn. Um, kind of a neutral outfit as well. A lot of browns. Um, a little bit of blue with his pants. And a little bit of like a interesting red maroon down the side of his pants. I didn't focus too much on that. I really like how this looks. And unfortunately, he has a very interesting uh, pose right here. So I have to turn these in kind of an awkward way so you guys can see the combo. <laughs> but um, it, that looks really good. There's a lot of good ones on him. He's, he's pretty universal. I think it looks pretty good. I like this other style right here. Anchor map looks juicy. Detonator looks nice. Vintage. Very vintage. Uh, AKA Jansport backplane looks nice. Buckled. It works so well with so many outfits, man. Scrappy looks good. Rift Rock. Uh, pair of provisions. You don't see a lot of people using it, including myself. And the Grande Pack. Outfits with the Resistance backling now. I do believe on some of the outfits I chose, the backling kind of gets lost. That one doesn't exactly get lost, but you can kind of see what I mean. Sometimes you kinda, it kind of blends too well with some of the skins that I'm showcasing here. But nonetheless, I really like this holographic type of a, of a back bling. I think it looks great. Um, a lot of the same outfits I used before. This is going to look good on the original doggo here. See, this, see how this one kind of gets lost a little bit? It's not super uh, vibrant. I just wanted to show you them on all the Star Wars ones too. So, Jack Gordon looks pretty cool. That one doesn't get lost at all. Looks nice. Catastrophe looks juicy. Fish stick, original. Here's the pirate, the VR, and the World Cup. Rio Grande, very nice again. Sassarn, he's got an orange uh, 
handkerchief around his neck. Very cool. The Autumn Queen looks great again. Tracker, juicy as always. Sizzle, Sarn looks great. It gets a little lost, though. A little lost. Pass Patroller. The Jungle Scout. Ara again. And Triggerfish, one of my favorite, favorite skins right now. Probably... It's in the running against Stage Slayer. I'm not going to lie. Triggerfish is one of my favorites right now. Outfits with the Sith Trooper Blaster. It's kind of a tongue twister here. Um, not, I don't think any of these are going to shock you. I did a lot of red and black outfits here. Um, it's a very, very cool back bling. Now that we finally have some type of firearm for a back bling, I'm loving it. It is very, very cool. I love her. It's very, very cool back bling. Um, I'm really liking that. Maybe this could be a step in the direction of uh, more weapon systems on their backs. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but this is very cool nonetheless. Uh, black and red is my favorite color scheme, so I may be a little biased towards the back bling itself. Regardless, like I said, very cool to see this in game for a back bling. Was not expecting this whatsoever. And uh, back to the showcase here. Uh, we got Takara. If you're, if the, okay, so you're probably hearing a in-game music that you probably haven't heard before. This is called the Frost Knight music pack, and which I got from doing the Frost Knight Save the World quests earlier today. I got the Frost Knight loading screen, and then I got the Frost Knight music pack you're currently listening to. Uh, the loading screen was surviving 45 minutes within the Frost Knight, uh, mission there and then the actual music pack is depositing 200 blue glow um total within you know how many times you played the frost knight uh actual mission so i think it took me like five or six games honestly to get the blue glow done um with a solid group you could probably get roughly to like 40 in one round but um yeah man the music is really cool it's free free 99 if you guys want to grind a little bit and save the world it is the frost knight quest within your actual uh quest log so this is a music pack and this is the loading screen let's full screen for you guys real quick so just in case you haven't got that yet you might want to i don't know how long it's going to be available back blinks on the sith trooper here Again, nothing's really going to shock you here, but it's just giving you a little good uh, idea of what you can wear uh, within a all red and black <laughs> outfit here. It's very cool. I'm not I'm not really sure why this wasn't an additional edit style for the white stormtrooper we have. I, I mean, I don't really know what goes on in the brains of Epic and their employees, but um, I mean, I don't I like the red one. I really do. Um, it's one of my favorite color schemes within the game here, but nonetheless, it still looks really cool um, They're also allowing you to gift five things daily now as opposed to three, which is really nice pretty cool So I'm kind of clumping um, all three skins together Including their back blinks here as I did buy them all together in a pack. I do think if I had to rate them um, You know in my personal opinion best second best third best that's just me. Um, do the Master Game Rarity. I, I don't know. It seems like a good deal. It was actually 3500 It's on sale when you get the bundle. So I think it's okay. For some Star Wars stuff, I mean, I, I can't really put a price on Star Wars as I don't know a lot about it. But I think it's pretty cool. Color schemes. Um, uh, shoot, what was her name? <laughs> Ray and Finn. Both of them um, are pretty generic in terms of color schemes. I do like the red and black. Um, regardless, I'll give them a 2 out of 2 there. Give them out a decent amount. They really will. They do. I showed you over some really good ones already. Are they creative? They're Star Wars. I really can't knock them. And will I use them? You know, I'll give them a 1 there. And I mean, maybe. Maybe I will when I learn more about Star Wars and actually watch them on Disney+. Plus. You ain't put a 9 out of 10 for the Rise of Skywalker pack. And with that being said, guys, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. Do not forget to check out the first link video showcasing all of the new cosmetics within the game. That is PIZ0 with that item shop. Yes, I do make a small profit if you use my code on your purchases. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See you!